see <coughs> we have to uh, see things differently because why they are shouting why government is shouting in maoist because they want to bury the real issue what is the real issue in jharkhand see we for me take my case my parents were brutally murdered my 20 acres of land were taken away for a dam but we were not compensated imagine if i would have become maoist who injustice, would have sir. who would have been responsible for it is it it's injustice that leads to it but it's Secondly, also a possibility today we're yes, looking sure, at a sure. situation where every day we see more and more attacks yes yeah, sure sure and another thing let me tell you that uh, today i came to know that gov- uh, this government of india is going to assault going to start assault from tomorrow onward crpf is ready where you know in the simbhum region of jharkhand and that is less maoist infested area and most maoist infested area region is palamu but why they are starting there because government of jharkhand has signed 102 mous and most of the mous have been signed for those are you, are that you region. saying that the government of india is essentially bidding for large corporate mnc yeah, 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 yeah. who want the land cleared exactly. they essentially want the land cleared it's about forest land clearing but that may well be true of a particular part possibly but it can't be true of an entire red corridor that has been formed if now you, from chatisgarh to west bengal if you look at the mineral deposits in this so called red corridor you will see that it is true the jindal the tatas sr all these companies have mous when uh, the the year that the salwar judo was started was the year when several of these mous were signed when the second arundhati rao why don't they come into the democratic process and take up these causes uh, uh, that this is the other point that chidambaram right. keeps making Can that, I that, that yeah that, that human rights group uh, that, that the maoists must come into the democratic process if they have no faith in the indian state then naturally the indian state will be forced to strike back I want to say two things. One is we are using this word Maoist very, very loosely. Okay, that anybody of those, uh, the government has clearly said that of all the people that were with the Salva Judum, which is a form of strategic hamletting that was used in the Vietnam War, they are with us, and the rest of these 350,000 people are. Not to be sure. honest, the Salva Judum was the perhaps the policy of a previous government. We haven't seen so much Excuse of me. action from the no, Salva Judum in that, the last that, few years. That, this that is, is the same true. government that in 2004 that, actually went into talks with Maoist that groups. That is just not true. And the Salva Judum, the man who runs the Salva Judum, is a Congress person. Okay, there's a river called the Indravati. Across it. is pakistan and and all of us have been told if you cross the river we are free to shoot Answer you the central question okay. why don't why, why why isn't the encouragement made to maoists to come okay. to into the democratic let's, process okay let's, let's see, raise let's, the issues yeah. of land let's, displacement let's, but let's, let's look, raise it to democratic dialogue right, let's look at the democratic process the indian elections cost more than the american elections okay 99% of independent candidates lost most of the mps are crorepatis now you're going to tell him you come and stand for elections when he hasn't got any money to buy space in the media any money to get from corporations so so so, so, so if there are elections for example in in jharkhand gladson in a couple of months as they are yeah. you believe that that uh, no one would be willing to come into the electoral process to have their voices heard if if they have so much of popular support if issues like land displacement are critical why not come into the electoral See, process uh, let me tell you that last time when government was there many displacement representative of displacement movement they went there they started dialogue with the government but neither shibu soren listen no none of the governor listen nobody listen us simply they want So what would you like to tell? I, I know that the Home Minister, Mr. Chidambaram, is watching this program because we told him that you were coming on the program. What would you like to tell Mr. Chidambaram, who is listening to this program?